Okay, gonna explain why Talmudic Judaism, or you can just call it Judaism, no difference, is a ticket to hell. Okay, just like any other false religion out there, Talmudic Judaism is a one-way ticket to hell, and it is an Antichrist false religion. Okay, gonna show some scriptures and what the Bible says about Judaism and why it's a false religion. But so obviously, because you know Talmudic Jews, they follow their pagan traditions of the Talmud, the Kabbalah. Okay, Talmudic Judaism is just repackaged paganism. That's all it is. And going to show from the scriptures that Talmudic Judaism is a false way. It's a false way of salvation. And according to uh, 1 John chapter 2, verse 22 to 23, it's an antichrist religion. So let's turn to the scriptures first, which is always the final standard. Okay, And I'll be only referencing scripture, by the way. I won't be going to any secular sources because scripture is always the final standard. So first and always, it's scripture before anything else. Titus chapter 1 verses 10 to 14. And by the way, Talmudic Jews, they don't hold the Torah to the final standard. They hold their blasphemous Babylonian Talmud as their final standard. Okay. Titus chapter 1 verses 10 to 14. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things what they ought not, for filthy lucre's sake. One of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said, The Cretans are always liars, evil beasts, slow bellies. This witness is true, wherefore rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the faith, not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth. Okay, this is not anti-Semitic. This is what God's word says. Okay, unless God's word is anti-Semitic, or, you know, because I'm criticizing Judaism as a religion. Okay, I'm not criticizing Jewish people as an ethnic group. Okay, Judaism is a false religion. And Paul right here is saying that these Talmudic Jewish Pharisees were uh, basically being racist, essentially anti-Gentile racism towards the Cretans, calling them evil beasts, slow bellies. And Paul says, yeah, rebuke them sharply. Their mouths must be stopped. They're subverting whole houses. Okay. If you know, if you want to call me anti-Semitic, remember, you're not you're mad at me. You're mad at what God's word says. Okay. Take it up with God. Okay. Because I'm not, this is not my opinion. This is what God's word says. Okay. And by the way, it is my opinion because of what God's word says, but I did not originate this opinion. This is what God's word says, what I meant to say. Okay, this is what God says, not me. I'm just the messenger. Okay, but that's what Paul says about the religion of Judaism. Okay, Jewish fables. Call me anti-Semitic. Call me racist all you want. Okay, I'm criticizing it as a religion. That simple. Okay, if you can't handle that, then it just shows you got a problem with God's word, not with me. Okay, now first, no, secondly, I want to say, obviously, because I've already made my first premise, is that Judaism is a false way because it denies salvation through Jesus Christ and it actually blasphemes Jesus Christ in their wicked, blasphemous, Babylonian, perverted, lascivious Talmud. Let's go to the scriptures on what the Bible says about salvation, how Talmudic Judaism denies salvation through Jesus Christ. Okay, just read the Talmud. It blasphemes Jesus Christ all throughout the thing. Okay, Acts chapter 4, verses 10 to 12. A good rebuke at the Talmudic Jews who are denying Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 4 verses 10 to 12. Be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand before you whole. This is the stone which is set at naught of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved whom ye crucified. The Talmudic Jew has crucified Jesus Christ. And Peter's saying, you crucified him, now you gotta believe on him for salvation. Okay, see, heretics like John Hagee out there, you know, and I support the nation of Israel, I support the Jewish people, but they're following a, a damnable pagan false religion. Talmudic Judaism is paganism. And the Israelites, physical Israelites, are a lot of them are on their way to hell because they're following this antichrist religion of Judaism. And Peter's rebuking him, saying, you crucified him, now you gotta believe on him. Because he is the only way of salvation. Neither is there salvation in any other. Not the Talmud, not the Kabbalah, but Jesus Christ. Uh, John chapter 14, verse 6. Turn there. John chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. Not through the Talmud, not through the rabbinical traditions, not through the Kabbalah, through Jesus Christ. That's how you get to the Father. Uh, John chapter 3, verses 16 to 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. 
That throws out Talmudic Judaism right there. They don't believe in the name of the only begotten Son of God. They're believing in their blasphemous Talmud. So, and again, I support the Jewish people. I support their right to be in the land of Israel, but that does not mean I support their blasphemous, pagan, false religion of Judaism. And finally, turn to John chapter 3, verse 36. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Okay, the wrath of God abides on Talmudic Jews who reject Jesus Christ. That's simple. Okay, call me anti-Semitic all you want. That's what God's word says. You don't remember. You don't have a problem with me. You got a problem with God with what God says in His holy, infallible word. So just don't be deceived. Talmudic Judaism is false. Call them to repentance. You know, get them out of this false religion and turn them to their Messiah, Jesus Christ, who they rejected and crucified. But now they got to believe on Him. That's simple. And you know, at the end of the time of Jacob's trouble, they're going to believe on Him. You know, right now they have a spirit of slumber but it's not going to last forever. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.